What up, Saiyans? And got Gino here. What's up, what's up? And it is pre-workout time. Favorite time. Also, wanted to show you guys the newest product. I've been keeping this under wraps. I already ate, I already like pounded one box of this already. Um, Cause it's delicious. Thank you, sir. But yeah, we're gonna take the peach. I think we should change it up soon though. Switch it out, yeah. We've been yeah. for a minute. Too much of a good thing. You don't want to get it. You don't want to yeah, overdo it. Yeah, I just want to, yeah. Yeah, and that's why they have the other flavors as well. Right, right, Or right. even just the strawberry, I feel like. Um, just change it up. And it's that much better when you come back yeah. to it as well, you know? The strawberry did it. Did pretty well. I was into it. Yeah, honestly, not my favorite flavor, but still kicks though, which is the main thing. So anyways, newest product from Boba Tea is their Boba Puffs. So macros are pretty legit. Like they even have a little crossword on the back. Hey. Dude, my grandma loves doing these. Um, <laughs> 15 protein, 12 carbs, eight fat. So pretty damn good macros per serving. 15 protein, legit. And uh, I mean, really it's based on the taste. Right, let's yeah. find out. So I already used half of it for my little promo this morning. Uh, we're just gonna do a little just because we have legs today. Oh, I didn't even grab this one. Hold on, let me grab this one real quick. But yeah, we're just gonna give you some. Yeah, these smell good though, man. Oh, smell test. So basically, so far, so this good. is taro. This is their taro cereal. So you add milk to it and it turns your milk into taro milk tea. Mm. So pretty cool. Let's grab you the. Let me get a spoon. Get you a spoon. To dig in. It smells like. Man, I'm trying to place where the smell smells familiar from. And then we'll just throw some milk. So give me your honest review. Okay. No BS. I don't know. Have you tried protein cereals before? I've had I think I've had one, not like Magic Spoon, but I've, I think I've had over time. I've had I've had a bunch of different cereal in life. Like any kid, I love cereal. So mm -hmm. I've eaten a lot of cereal from like the healthy cereal to the unhealthy cereal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm definitely up on what tastes like cardboard and what tastes like pure sugar. So Yeah, I, I mean, feel like there's been a big divide with protein cereal. Protein cereal is one of those things where people have not been getting it right. Like, I don't know, Magic Spoon wanted to do something with me like a year or two ago, or a couple of years ago, I don't remember when. Um, they sent me their stuff and to be honest, I didn't like how it was, it has that, just that chewy texture. It's almost Oof. like eating stale cereal. I hate that. Yeah, and I noticed it just comes with trying to put protein in, in cereal. Yeah, that would make sense. However, I don't know how they did it, but this is the crunchiest protein cereal. Like, if I didn't tell you it was protein cereal, you probably wouldn't know, to be honest. Right. But yeah, we just give you a little right. milk. You gotta mix it up, though. Get the taro, the taro milk the in there. Taro milk going. Yeah, we just got some almond milk, some healthy milk. Healthy. Turns pretty purple pretty fast. Gluten-free, so. soy-free, grain-free. For those of you guys who care. That sounds important. All right. Did the milk turn purple? It's pretty purple. That's how you know it's ready. All right. Oh yeah. yeah. There you go. That's pretty impressive. Turn purple pretty fast. Okay. I'm and the milk's the, the best bite. part, anyways. Yeah. It's all about the milk. Hmm. You know, first bite, it's pretty good. The crunch, I feel like, is on point. Mm -hmm. For any cereal, I feel like you really need a crunch in there. Yep. Um, I hate soggy cereal. Yeah. I like the taste. You know, it, it tastes pretty good. It's, it's sweet. And then you get the protein. So it does taste, you know, you can taste the protein a little bit in there, mm -hmm. which, you know, maybe that's what you're looking for. I think that maybe it's like, I don't know, if you're looking for just like cereal, cereal, you definitely tell that there's something a little different about it. Yeah. So you can definitely tell that this is um, not your standard cereal. Um, yeah. But it's pretty good. The aftertaste, 
not not bad not bad you know yeah. um but i think it has a really surprising level of sweetness to it i think that's no mm, too sweet for you it was it was a lot of sweet and i think that maybe you know but for some people i think maybe when you eat cereal i think like if i'm eating something else like Her, cinnamon what's, toast your favorite, crunch. what's your favorite cereals do i love like super sweet cereal but not i mean mm -hmm. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like Fruity Pebbles. I mean, mm. you know, it's, it's really weird. I think over time as I've gotten older, I don't really, I don't really eat cereal anymore because one, it's like a lot of sugar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love Honey Bunches of Oats. Honey Bunches of Oats. That's, that's actually a pretty, that's a pretty good cereal. That's my jam, man. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. I should mix both of them, actually. Dude, oh. that's the best. Dude. What you do is put, put um, that's wild. Honey Bunches of Oats on the bottom. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch at the top. Throw some milk on there. All the cinnamon kind of f um, melts into the honey bunches of oats, mm. dude, and that's the best. So, Soggy cinnamon toast crunch sucks too. Yeah. So that's why you always put cinnamon toast crunch at the top. Soggy honey bunch honey bunches of oats actually it lasts longer, but yeah, that's yeah. the best. Yeah, and I agree. You can still tell it's protein. Yeah. However, like for me, I do like sweet cereals, so yeah. But compared to protein cereals, like this is honestly the best I've had. Protein cereals are always chewy, that's why. Yeah. They're always chewy. They always have that chewy, I don't want to say cardboard texture, but it's just like stale. I think one it's thing. It's like eating stale cereal. Yeah, that sounds horrible in general. I wouldn't eat stale cereal, whether it was like the unhealthy stuff or not. If it's stale, I'm going to throw it away. Yeah, stale why, cereal sucks. Why we do had that to stale yourself? cereal, cinnamon toast crunch. I tried to eat. Ooh. Nope. Let me sit on some of this. Yeah. But just for the fact that it's so crunchy, like, yeah, I think it is a little sweet. It's taro milk sweet. tea is good, yeah. But the taro milk tea, that is definitely a highlight bonus. That's yeah. a big one. You know, here's the thing, though. Like, if you are intentionally going to eat healthy cereal, I mean, I have mixed feelings about uh, Honey Bunches of Oats. It's super good, but I feel like it's healthy. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, like, I lump it. I'm not that I it's love bad. It, though. I lump it into, like, Raisin Bran or, like, other things. Dude, and I'm not saying that no, it's super... No, not, not Raisin Bran. <laughs> oh, saying, man. Like, my Dude, grandma... that's, like, uh, my grandma, bottom. My grandma used to, like, Special K and, like, oh. like the Raisin stuff, like, Bran cereal, stuff like that. And, oh, man. I made the mistake as a kid eating it. I used to, like, Pops as a kid. Pops. Was it pops? Oh. Was it was that thing what's called? The one that looked pops. like little corn? Oh dude, pops were oh, that was, unreal. Oh delicious. Did you ever try smacks? I mean, those are like the they're like they look like um they kinda look like coffee beans now that I think about it, but they're like or like golden puffs or I forget what they call them, but oh. they were just like extremely sweet, probably super terrible for you, but oh. you know. Yeah. I like that. I think also just as I've gotten it, and I had this conversation as I've gotten older, my tolerance for sweets has gone down so much. Like really, yeah. I don't. I don't really. You know, I don't really like. Like I'll, I love you know desserts and stuff, but I just I'm not eating it like I used to. Like I'm not like oh yeah, I'm gonna need to get myself like a slice of cake. I'll have like one or two bites, and I'm like all right, I'm done. Oh man, I got I sweet tooth like. Yeah, I blame that on my grandma, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's went down for me. Yeah, I don't know. my grandma's turning 99 she's she hard in chocolate it. every day Let's she's go. chocolate every day yep she got crazy sweet tooth I like and it. i got crazy sweet tooth man i can eat candy every day i got a savory tooth <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i mean sweets you know i still like it um but yeah it's just not it this but to me though you know if i were to look for a healthy cereal i i would give this a shot um it's a very specific flavor but for protein, the crunch, the sweetness, I think it's definitely, you know, doable. It's good. And, um, you know, I wonder if it would taste different for some people if they're doing like, uh, you know, I don't know if someone's going to put soy milk in it or a different almond milk. It would definitely milk. taste different or not if almond, you but, uh, use like regular milk, like 2% milk. 2%. Yeah. So for some people who aren't going to do almond, maybe they'll try yeah, that. Yeah, do a healthy milk. Yeah. Yeah. Or it, not as healthy milk. Yeah, not as healthy like, milk. Like almond milk is pretty much as healthy as it gets. Yeah, almond is super healthy. And that's why it tastes like kind of water. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not a huge I, fan of almond milk unless you mix it with things. Yeah. Like I'm not going to drink almond milk by itself. Yeah, I'm not going to straight almond milk, but yeah. I like it. I cashew doable. milk is good. I've never had that. I've never had it either. I heard it's good though. Uh, what's the other and one? And I know like at what it, uh, Whole Foods, I think you can make your own cashew milk, I think, right? Really? Yeah, I think they have like the machine or something. Mm. I don't. I don't recall. I, I don't, actually, I've seen one. Sandra of my, does the shopping. One of my buddies made milk before, and they showed me how you do it. They have like a little machine you can do it, so you can make your own milk at home. Yeah, 
You know, it looks good when um, those bread makers are like a thing Ooh. right now. Yeah. When people make their own like sourdough and stuff. Oh, I see people oh, doing that a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a fan of sourdough, but a I fresh... love sourdough. You like really? sourdough? That's weird. What? Yeah, sourdough. I hate when you mm. go to some place and they have sourdough as one of the bread things. Do you know what is actually really weird? What is? Not liking sourdough. No. <laughs> <laughs> sourdough? Like, Dude, sourdough is... Oh, that's where it's at. Like, just, just think of the mm. name. Sour and bread. Sour bread. Like, that's weird. So... Nah, okay. It, I'm it, not a sourdough it, hater. <laughs> I'm not like... I'm, like, if there's sourdough on the table, I'm still eating it, especially if I'm hungry. That sounds and there's super unhealthy, but... Bread on the table? Yeah. You know what I like? I like the... Um, my favorite is the... Oh, I forgot what it's called, but the one at... Uh... uh cheesecake factory the purple one. Oh, it's like there it's not taro bread it's um uh, anyways that one yeah that's my favorite that's good yeah i always get asked for extra that's a good one i like they have that dark rye too do you like rye bread yeah i don't mind that rye bread great yeah rye bread on a sandwich mm. yeah Mm -mm -mm. oh my parents gave me gave us this good what was it it was like the cinnamon bread dude Oh, yeah. so good. I think yeah. it's from like Great Harvest or something. Okay. Oh, yeah. We just cut slices and threw it in the air fryer for like five minutes. Get Ooh. the outside nice and crispy, the inside nice and gooey. Ooh, I'm making oh. me hungry before you even work yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> I don't know whose sourdough you've been eating, but I'm going to like take you to get some real sourdough when you're ready for it. Because <laughs> sourdough. Like, how do you eat it? Do you put like just butter bread. on it? Yeah, toast or the sourdough. Or do you sourdough? eat it just like raw? Oh, okay, no, you got to toast it. And then okay. put some butter on it and just. <sighs> just butter and that's it? I mean, if you want to do it with sandwiches, I mean, I'm trying to think what sandwich might go great with that. Probably like everything I can list is probably super unhealthy. <laughs> so yeah. maybe that's why I'm I like it. I'm just like it. a cinnamon toast kind of guy. Even like peanut butter, that kind of thing. Remember when Castle mm. the Breakfast? Castle the Breakfast? <laughs> they had the... <laughs> Dude, when we went to our, high school, our breakfast our, was... Our prison breakfast. <laughs> was 35 cents. <laughs> I would get two of them every day. Yeah. So this is when I first started lifting and I was trying to eat as much as I could and Public school food is literally the best for that. Yep. I would eat two breakfasts, two lunches. Oh, nice. Yep, and that's pretty much it. I would eat first lunch and second lunch. Ooh. Sometimes I'd double up on second lunch. That's right. That's where the gains come yep. from. The first I lunch, all we lunch. had was, remember that chicken sandwich? Yeah. Okay, so back to our breakfast. Oh, my God. So our breakfast was so ghetto. <laughs> yeah. It had, it was literally two pieces of toast. Okay, you could get either cinnamon. Oh, no. Or was it cinnamon and peanut butter? Or was it either or? I think it was either or. Okay, so you, you could either get cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. You get, they're, and they're, you get the nasty-ass eggs. Yeah. That's too much amenity <laughs> the there. The nasty-ass, like... That's like it powdered. wasn't just had water eggs. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was powder eggs, guaranteed. Yeah, it was not. So, anyways, real it was two eggs. pieces of toast. You get cinnamon or peanut butter, and literally, literally, all it was was sugar, and then yeah. cinnamon. Throw yeah. it on top. That that was sugar our... cinnamon. That's that struggle. Oh, sugar peanut butter. Yeah, but it was it, good. Like it was good. It did it for you. I'm not gonna lie. As a kid, you know, I didn't care. I, I was into it. You know, I yeah. needed to eat something. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, and, and I was honestly was about the milk. Tasty. Like I was drinking at least four cartons of milk a day. You know, I have always chase that milk high from like school lunch milks i don't know what it is about those little cartons of milk but no milk has ever tasted better than that to me <laughs> really <laughs> i love okay, it okay okay i didn't like it that I much i love it i didn't like it that so, much i, I was just more for milk. the gains no. like uh, mm. like this is calories protein throw I, it back yeah i love the taste of it throw it back i love the taste of look and milk. lunch was like a dollar remember we used to have our little yeah. tickets our oh little yeah meal tickets? little blue tickets yeah right? we'd gamble yeah. <laughs> during recess we'd <laughs> yeah. play cards and gamble and instead of having money on the yeah. table yeah, we'd have lunch our tickets. lunch tickets on the table oh that's so funny i think i got busted for that i think once really or twice. oh yeah uh, you know. i remember we used to count everyone's debt and stuff and dude that's yeah. funny we we're making our own economics back then yeah it was a big we're thing teaching man. each other valuable lessons about that's we did doing recess, man. You'd, you'd flip dollars, remember that? Oh, you'd flip, flip dollars, dollars you'd, pencil oh, fight. You'd fe oh, I, never, pencil I never fight? got oh. big into pencil fight. Pencil fighting, dollar flipping. Um, at some point, people just like straight up went to the dice. Uh, that was a little bit later. Oh, yeah, Probably I didn't closer do dice. Senior year. I didn't do dice. That one just felt a little unsafe. We did lots of cards. We cards did lots of cards. Fine. It was lots of, was it Hold'em? Hold'em. Trumps. Um, Team yep. Trumps was big. Uh, did we play anything else? We must have played some other stuff. What else was big then? Uh, I think Hold'em was a big one. Hold'em was such a big one. Yeah. You know, some people would do seven card set, but Hold'em was super popular for some reason amongst my friends. Like, I don't know if it was just like someone 
discovered it and shared it and everyone loved it but it went, we did hold them a lot and then um I don't know, I think there's always like then your odd side bet who can race who faster. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. People <laughs> never, would just straight up race. Like, I never like heard I, that one. Oh, PE, you never did that? Where people are like, I'm faster than you, I'll bet you, you know, I'll bet you lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have went for it though. Yeah, you should have. I would have went for it. You could have made some money. <laughs> you should have done that with lifting. I'm mean, not the quickest person, but <laughs> I'll so, try. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. No. Oh, the ghetto. Public school days. Public school days. Oh, the fun man. part. Public school in Hawaii. It yeah. was a fun time. Oh, yeah, that's why we're not sending a comedy to. Yeah. Like, no offense to the castle people, mm. but... We both went to castle. Especially King, man. That was not, yeah. So King was our intermediate school. That's 7th, 8th grade. Yeah. Um, that was when I went from innocent kid to... You grew yeah, up pretty fast overnight. To... Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Dude, uh, I remember yeah. I used to have a CD player with the... I, I think that was one of my first CDs I ever had. The Dr. Oh, Dre. Oh, uh, Chronic, Chronic 2001? Yeah, with the weed. Was it Chronic? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. thing. Yep. Uh, on repeat, man. On oh, repeat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, I remember still Dre was track number four. Yep. Um, uh, no, the Guilty Conscious was before that, I think. Um, yeah. The Eminem collab, what song was that? The was number ten, track ten. Um, uh, the the most popular one yeah, ever. Uh, uh, oh my god! Let me... Like I can hear the song playing in my head. I can too. I think I can. It's gonna come to me while working out. I can't think of it. Yeah, the all day everyone will talk with. That that's still dry. That's still dry. That is still dry. Oh, that's still. Yeah. Is that still dry? That's still dry. Are you sure? That's I'm not like... still dry. I'm no, 90? no, that's track ten. That's track ten. No, I'm ninety percent. That's and it. And they had like the exhibit um, collab God, I love on exhibit. that. Yeah, exhibit collab. Even after he fucked up everybody's cars. Never <laughs> 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 yeah, pimp your pimp your ride. Yeah, ride. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really look good. big into it, but we we're talking about this like a couple weeks ago. About how pimp my ride. Um, they have the aftermath of people's cars oh getting all God. messed up and stuff. Like, oh yeah, it's a genius idea putting a a, yeah. a, a, cor- a fish a fish tank in it your trunk. <laughs> I, but I mean, at the end of the day, you're still doing it like with these like '94 Corollas. Like, they're not gonna last forever. Like, just pimping them out. I heard that. Uh, I, I heard think, it was like all show and it wasn't like they didn't yeah. do anything to interior. I don't know if I don't. I remember I like read up on this like a long time ago. Kind of like a. Th- like someone came forward they're like oh yeah they didn't really give like they took a bunch of stuff back like they put in speakers and then they're like okay hey, no oh, then they took it back after the show yeah but, wow. i mean because if you like i don't know if you remember they would put these huge yep. like speakers in there like these big subs boxes. yeah but that's a lot of bread so i think eventually they just pulled it out and they're like wow. here we'll put this in or something yeah and um I don't know if some of them weren't street legal or something <laughs> like. I, I probably not. I don't know, especially down here, man. Where like the laws, like it's. Hawaii we're the on only cars. place that has safety check. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Such a scam. Every year, it sucks. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm too old, man. I like, I've never even thought of putting like subs in <laughs> any of my cars no. these days. Oh, I did when I was younger. I absolutely. I did. did. I did. But I had not a, anymore. I had two twelves. Oh, yeah? I think, yeah, at 212s. I think it's at my grandma's house. No <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. So. I usually had, I think, 112. I wasn't, I wasn't going hard as two. Yeah, dude, it was so loud. It would set up, set off, like, I was that guy <laughs> setting off alarms <laughs> in the, so we'd go to the gym and set off oh the God. alarms yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. nearby. Yeah. Everybody hated Just because it was like, <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know a song we used to go off, uh, go off on, um. Let's go by Lil John. Oh, let's oh that go. had the craziest yeah. bass. That song sounds so yeah. good. That song has with some, sounds, some bass man. It. It's just like boom. That's gonna hype you up too. <laughs> yeah, oh, and we man. just be slamming that before the gym, yeah. man. Let's go. Oh, good times, man. Good times. But yeah, we're old now. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna be doing that. You're not gonna hear me bumping like that down yeah, the road. Yeah, no. Yeah, I can't stand the guys that do it. It's like, bro, you're hurting your ear jumps. Yeah. Like from all the way the main road you can hear like people's cars clearly it's, and it's why like are you why doing that? 
Why? Like, it's so ridiculously loud. It's gotta be hurting your ears, like, to a certain extent. There's just, like, there's, like, uh, that rain no here that's coming around, right? Yeah. I saw a lot of people posting about that, like, um, people that go to raves, they're having, like, hard of hearing now and stuff, and they can't hear certain tones. Yep. Because of all the hours. You know what's nuts is I saw, like, um, they did a, I, I mean, I'm not sure where it was, but they had a visual of, like, these huge speakers, like, hitting this, like, I don't know, like they turned it on and hit this, like hit a tone and you could see the vibration from the speakers coming off. And then I'm like, that must hurt like a mother. I remember when YouTube was like first coming out, there was like a viral video. This guy would play his sounds and like, um, there was like two girls in their car and their hair would just be like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> their hair would just jump up and down Where are they now? to the base. Do they need hearing aids? Cause yeah, that is nuts. Know. I think it's also just repetition, though, like how long you actually go through yeah, it. Yeah, exposure. I yeah, think like if I'm exposure. working out, too, and I'm listening to music, like my phone will tell me, hey, your volume's too loud, turn it down. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but if I were to ever do it, I would do it to some funny music. I think I was uh, driving, and I saw some dude just like huge truck blasting like Justin Bieber and like really just not the demographic of someone who I would imagine would listen to Justin Bieber which is great but just to the confidence to be blasting young Bieber like that out of his truck I was he's like he's a believer he's a believer I was like that that's a true fan right there <sighs> I loved it that's not me I, I mean Justin Bieber is great but I mean I'm not gonna be blasting any music <laughs> because I'm too old for that now <laughs> yep but all right Oh, back to real life stuff. <laughs> seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten? Seven and a half yeah, out of ten. Bad. That's not bad. All right. First exercise, leg extensions. So we're doing these one and a half rep style. Um, left knee feels okay, but it just it doesn't feel good at full lockout. So I'm just going to stop before full lockout. And yeah, just play it safe. But... I'm still fitting the quads, which is all that matters, but I'm not gonna also go up and wait. So let's just see what we got. I think last time I got eight. So anything more than eight, totally fine. However, I'm not gonna push it if it's, if my knee's not feeling it. So yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Pull those right. last partials, yeah. man. I just felt the outside of my. I'm gonna make sure I can see my fire, quads. Dude. I got my leggings on, but Whew. make sure I can see my quads. They're looking but, pretty yeah. good. Bro, what the? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I put these on outside. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Bro, this is my. This is my. This is how I work out. firm pink thumb that's what i find <laughs> oh my god i was like oh, okay and then i see something big from the corner i'm like what is that <laughs> so sometimes matt will live with just leggings so i was like all right he's just gonna think i'm putting my leggings on so yesterday i was Try like going through the <laughs> So, <laughs> so uh, this is the real <laughs> this is the secret <laughs> strong legs <laughs> take these off oh my god I'll put these back oh, in the gym I can't breathe <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
first I thought, I was like, ah, I wonder why you're setting up your phone like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just yeah, I knocked, because before this set, I just, knocked, I knocked on my phone. phone. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's an interesting place to put his phone, but yeah. whatever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still going, I'm going to turn it off. Bro, that's hilarious, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't breathe. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I had to do an April Fool's. I had to, I had to do something. Funny, dude. That's I had funny. to do something. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, you got another plate? I think so. Do it, dude. Do you it. Know, I'm gonna try. Don't let my bum knee hold you back. My you and your thing. thong back. <laughs> I got my thong, you know? It's oh, like... you're gonna do it the other way or just sandwich it? Uh, no, I'm just gonna put it on. I think I'm just gonna actually just tie out the 25 and put the plate on. Oh, okay, yeah. oh, okay, okay. I thought you were doing it on, Oh, the on plate top, and the oh. oh, I was like, damn. <laughs> no, the thong doesn't give me that much power. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> your girlfriend's playing at home like, where's my pink ball? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm missing inventory. Where's your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing at this house again? <laughs> oh, seriously, I was like, I need to stop by Walmart real quick and don't question my purchase right now. <laughs> I'm just like, what? We gotta use that for a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Bruh. That's uh, funny, that's funny. So I was waiting, I was like, ah, oh, should I do it when the camera's on? I was like, waiting, I was like, waiting to see if you were looking at the camera. I was like, all right, I'm gonna take this off real quick. <laughs> Bro. That's, that's funny, that's a good one. I totally was not expecting that. <laughs> April Fool's is something like, doesn't even cross my mind until I see all the stupid stuff on yeah, Instagram. I was like, man, I don't, I feel like I haven't played a good prank in a hot minute and I was just thinking, like, bro, what would be a funny one? I was like, I was like trying to think of all the things I could do, but I was like, do that simple and easy. <laughs> all right, you're wearing that this whole time that, too. <laughs> that is commitment. <laughs> you're wearing that this whole time. I was eating cereal with the pink thong on. He had no idea. <laughs> yeah, the thing's like riding up. <laughs> Ugh, not comfortable. Uh, zero out of 10 recommend. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm gonna my working set. <laughs> you can tell your girlfriend to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta watch the video now. <laughs> you watch it first. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> just don't worry. It's, it's some nice smell baked into it. A little sweat. <laughs> uh, some right. boba tea farts. Yeah, some, <laughs> some boba tea uh, pre-workout and oh, cereal man. farts in there for. Oh. All right. Okay. Whew. Okay, back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I had a zone. <laughs> uh, Bro, that was too fun. That reminds me of those pranks where um, guys would wear the thong and then they'd be squatting and let oh, it show. Oh, yeah, And yeah. they record people's reactions. The whale when tails. They, when they walk, yeah, yeah. they would be like passing by like, huh? So straight up, I thought about doing that one and I was like, ooh, that means I would have to actually be like legit wearing, wearing, wearing it and wearing it that whole time. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. a little much. Yeah, at least it was over your leg. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, let's get it. Let's get All it. All right, let's go. Let's go. There you go. Good. Right, keep going. Nice. Keep going. Good, wrap it out, wrap it out some more. All the way to failure. Keep going. Nice, don't rush it, don't rush it. Keep the tempo good. Come on. Come on, clean reps, clean reps. One, keep going. There you go. Keep going. Come on, two more, two more. Don't rest. Come on. Last one, last one. All the way up. And then partials, Whoa. partials, partials, partials. All the way down on the partials, all the way down. There you go, all the way down on the partials. There you go, all the way down. Come on. <laughs> uh, oh. That was a lot of reps, dude. 
Oh, yep. You got that burn? I got that burn. <laughs> That's burning. That's burning. Whew. Power of the thumb. <laughs> okay, so next exercise. The hated and beloved Bulgarian Ooh. split squats. Yeah. Okay. So going up uh, in weight. To be honest, they feel pretty damn good today. Yeah. Yeah. During the warm up, I definitely felt that it was. It wasn't that, you know, it was I good. I feel like I could even go a little bit heavier. I don't know. Uh, right now we had 40s. We warmed up at the 40s. Hmm. What you thinking? I don't know. Could even go 50s, but the 60s are right there already set. They're right there. <sighs> are they calling your name? <sighs> yeah, I think so, yeah. <sighs> yeah, then we're only looking at probably around five to six a leg. If that... How's your knee? But we're feeling good. I mean, knee, the only time the knee really bothers me is on the leg extensions. Oh, okay. like, and that's only full lockout. Right. So, I don't know. The don't know. quads are feeling good then today. Then maybe full send. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Okay. Okay, and then we're just going to start with the left as well. Okay, that shitty part. No. You gotta do it all over again. Gonna match it. Okay. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, oh. Nice. I mean, I'm at least felt stable. Did you feel good? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Last time it was a 25, so 40 is definitely going up. But just stick with 40s. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest. I stick think. with 40s, even if you get some higher reps, it's fine. Yeah, but 20, 25 to 60, pretty big jump. That's a huge jump. Yeah. I mean, even 40 to 60 is kind of a big jump. Yeah, it's I should have just added 50. My bad, I encourage that. I encourage that. No. Jump. Fuck, I got seven clean reps and it felt good. Yeah. I felt clean, felt like I was getting deep. Didn't feel like I was sacrificing form. That's all that matters. All right, wrap it up, wrap it up. Good. Ooh. Come on. Good. Good. Come on, some more. Good. Okay. Good, was that nine? That was nine. All right, All right. match it. Match it. Good. Some more. Oh. Oh. <coughs> ah, all right. Yeah, two more, two more. <sighs> two more, two more. Very good. <sighs> oh. 
Good. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more. Oh, you're good, you're good. There you go. Nice, nice. Whew. Good thing the 40s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, good set. Oh. I think we're gonna try to catch up today after work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, perfect actually. Finale drops tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for physical 100. So next we got Lang Hampton curls going up five pounds. And yeah, we're gonna try to hit this for anywhere from six to eight, totally fine. Oh, Gina's short in time, so we're just pumping the rest of the, this workout out. The hardest part is done with the Bulgarians done. Right. Okay, maybe just six. <laughs> All right, just hit the wall after yeah. that, man. Damn. Just came oh. up. Sometimes the wall just rushes up to meet you. Yeah, I was like, oh, that six one didn't feel too bad. First one kind of just flew up. Yeah. I lost That's control like, of it. Like, woo. And then. Just woo. kicking high. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's just like pumped. All right. All right, come on. Yeah, good. All the way down, all the way down. There you go. Nice. Good, good tempo. Nice. Come on, keep, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Nice. Some more. Come on. Partials. Partials. Come on, wrap it out, wrap it out. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Two more exercises. Whew. All right. So last exercise, well last exercise before Gina has to go. Yep. So we're gonna hit some calves after, but glute medius kickbacks, pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, just make just sure buckling. you're turning your heel out at the top. That's something I had to remind Gino um, just now is just make sure you're turning your, your toes out at the top, engage that glute medius. Yep. But yeah, I'm gonna take it slow for this. I got 11 at 20 pounds last time and 30 is gonna be real low reps. Yeah. There's one that, it's kind of like lateral raises with the cables. You take it slow. Right, right, right. So yeah, gonna get at least 12. Also something I was trying to do was trying to brace my opposite foot on this ledge. Okay. Yeah, I think it might be better. It's a good balance. Yeah. Yeah, there's all those movements that it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. <laughs> it's so <laughs> strict, that's why. It's so strict. And you're trying to stabilize at the same time. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. I got 13, what'd you get? I got 11. 11, okay. You got my last week's numbers. <laughs> I got last week's numbers. For, yeah. Shoot for 30 next one. Yeah. 13, not 30. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna start increasing it yet. Maybe once I hit like 15, maybe. Yeah. I know that like I gotta catch myself. I'm leaning over a little too far forward. I gotta keep reminding myself to kind of upright a little bit more. Yeah. Cause I'm leveraging myself when I do that. So. Yeah, just keep yourself stable. Yeah. 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 That's the only hard part. I have seen people where they do it, where they put their knee on top of the bench. I've seen that. I kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, makes it a little bit better, but I don't know. Honestly, I've never messed with it. Same. Yeah, probably feels good. Maybe something to add later on, future mezzos. All right. But we're going to get Gino out of here. He got to go oh, do go some to work. work. Yeah. yeah. Found free work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, bro. See you in the next one. Thanks for I'll watching. I'll see you guys soon. All right, see you